Police Security version 13013 has a new feature being added to support security filters. Let's look at that one. Um, it's set up in the object properties where a new field uh, security filter table has been added. And if that field has a check mark, that means that table is actually being used uh, for a security filter. So let's go ahead and check that one for the GL entries in here. And if I, after checking that field, go to an update to a role, I would see that if I had permissions earlier for um, creating, uh, or here I have a posting a invoice in here, I can go look at my permissions, and I see I have uh, entries uh, for the GL entry table in here. If I go in and update that role, I'll now see that the permissions for the GL entry table has been removed in here. And in that way, every table that is marked like that one, if it's built from the role builder using either role builder permissions or recordings, is actually not having any permissions added in there. That means I can go add a simple role that is not maintained with the role builder, meaning the role detail, detail don't exist in here, and actually have the permission in there. And one way of doing that one is actually using the normal tool inside NAV. So I'll go in here and say this one is um, security filter and it will be um, ADM, for example. I can go down to my role. Oops, I need to insert it first here. And then go look at the permissions. And I'll go ahead for table 17. I'll add the permissions that the user is needing in here. And then I'll go in the security filter. And remember, this one is a normal security function in here. So I'll go in and say in my global dimension, code number one. I'll put in a filter for the blank or the ADM department in here. Or let me just go and make it simple here and just say I just want the ADM. So I now I added a whole new um, role in here. And this one is actually added in the live data. One of the ways to get this one into Easy Security is from the roles in Easy Security. You can use the function in here to get new roles from live. An earlier version that used to be down here on the advanced, it's now one of the features that are in the normal list of functions. It's basically creating a restore point. Um, and I will see that now I'll have my new role pulled from the live set. And the same function could be used also for pulling in other changes, by the way, that were used to do manually in here. So if I go down and look at it here, I'll see my new um, role. Administration has been pulled in here and with the spelling error. It actually built role builder permissions for me in here because that's what it normally assumes that you want to do. And you can, of course, add, edit the security filter in here, but it wouldn't really do anything because this role was using the role builder. To get rid of the role builder, you go to the detail in here and an earlier version that used to be on the advanced also. So I go in here. And I'll basically just delete the role detail in here. And as I do that one, it now removes the check mark in here. And it basically means that permissions in here, they won't be updated and they'll be exactly what is pushed. So from now on, I can go manually uh, edit my security filter in here also if I wanted to. But I could also just uh, have it done that way. So I now have set up my new security filter role and uh, I have removed the permission from everything. If I now go do a publish, I'll have everything pushed to the live system and I will see all my other permissions for the GL entry table is removed. You of course need to add a role for everybody else also just to get that one. But in this way, it's very easy to control that no other rule or role in the system give you the permission for the GL entry table, because Easy Security will basically take it away after it has built all the roles, and then you can have a single role assigning it uh, to the users in here.
This one is now in the last process before it starts writing and creates a restore point for my live system. And I'll, I'll go ahead and then um, after that, write to the live system here with the changes. The permission was successfully published and if I go just look at it here, I'll see that uh, my role SFADM is like I had it before with my security filter. And if I look at some of the other roles in here, like the easy security one I looked at before, the post uh, and Invoice down here. I have the permission is uh, removed from that one. So I don't have any permissions for 17 in here either. So this one is an easy way to support the security filters and it prevents all those extra changes. If I go assign this one to a user also, I'll actually go ahead and be able to see it also in here. So if I go in and say I want to assign the uh, security filters, and I want to go ahead and uh, have my post invoice also. Uh, it's a sales document post invoice. And also for the blank one, if I now go update the user. Even in my summary permission for that table, I will be able to verify the level of permissions the user has and uh, the security filter uh, out here also. So this one is a new feature in the ES1.30.13 version, uh, and it really uh, is making it a lot easier um, to use the security filters. And not that it wasn't impossible before, but it's just the fact of getting rid of all the permissions for really hard, now easy security helps you with that also.